Hey, Melanation gang, what's pop, what's pop, what's pop, bonjour, bonly, bonsoir, living on the time you are watching this, my kings, my queens, my loves, my babies, all right, it is officially November 6th, y'all, girl, it's tired, I got to sleep in today, hallelujah for that, and I'm feeling a little bit better, and, you know, we sing and all that on this channel. So, if I do sound a little hoarse here and there on the vocals, you know what I'm saying? Um, your girl is being kind of over cold. Then, um, I went to the little co-worker party last night. And, child, we was in a little sip on or whatever. So, yeah, I already know how that be. Dry that throat out. Oop. This will be a spirit baby read. I'm gonna go ahead and take this because it fell out. I mean, but it came out in reverse on me. In reverse. Um, and the song I had got was Once Again and Mariah Carey. The um, I'm gonna have a link down below. I've been trying to do a little bit of editing today, but it was the and I know you're shining down on me from heaven Like the many friends we lost along the way And I know one day me and you will be together On uh, once again, okay? And she said, I wish you were so far away he was like, sorry, I never told you. But maybe it shows you I care. Okay. So, like, I feel like this is either a rainbow baby or, like, a baby that um passed away, like, in a very, like, early month stage or something like that. So, this is going to be a rainbow baby reading. Um, Like I said, it's November 6th. So the time is 8. So, God grants us to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know different. I said, God grants us to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the different. Ashe, 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 yeah. All right. Thank you to all my new subscribers, okay? I know I got a few new ones. Thank you for all the views. Y'all been running it up, okay? Go check out the playlist. I do have certain, like, more videos and options and stuff for y'all. Go scroll around, look around, you know? Help our channel grow, you feel me? And if you haven't already, go ahead and smash those buttons. You need to be smashing, period. And welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Anybody ciphering me in my collective's energy or sending us any type of evil eye, please return that energy back and send it with intent of now so that they can stop doing that shit. I said anybody ciphering our energy or mocking our energy, please return that energy back to sender. With intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit and call all of our energy back a hundred fold. Ashe, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So the first card out in reverse. My baby has given me the greatest gift. Yes. Ooh. I'm so sorry, mommies and daddies. Okay, so like I said, this is either or like a rainbow baby that never came all the way into fruition, or this could have been a baby that passed away in the early stage months. Okay, Ooh, sage is still burning. Months. I keep hearing like a rusty flop or something like that. Um, and I also a few months ago I was watching something about um. People and about having baby showers and something about um like letting people touch you and stuff while you're pregnant and stuff like that. Like be really, really careful and mindful of those type of things, okay? Cause yeah. And also like some things just keep it to yourself and manifest it with yourself, I would say. Like, cause some people just don't want to see you happy, like in general, like for real, for real. 
So with that being said, let's see what the rest of the card says. It says, your body accomplishments over the past year are nothing short of miraculous. For those first nauseous weeks to those last swollen days, your faithful body provided for all the baby Right for you and the baby each step of the way, from growing a placenta and umbilical cord and producing colostrum and oxytocin, your body knew just what to do and when to do it. Your precious body has been through so much. Give it a round of a praise today. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you guys didn't get to go through that full stage or however the situation was. Also, the next card that was sticking out to me when I just opened up the deck was I celebrate my mama marks okay so for you for this I feel like this is for those of you who um, actually had the child but um it passed away in the early months and I feel like that first card is probably for the rainbow child so take it how it resonates it says none of us leave pregnancy unscathed we may have bigger boobs bellies and feet hair and libido loss our skin may be stamped with stretch marks um melasma and cesarean scar and yet through it all we stand victorious all the lumps bumps and marks make us mamas we are tougher we are wiser we are kinder so speak tenderly to your sweet body today okay so some of y'all that are talking a little bit more in negative and low vibration to yourself talk nice to yourself i was just having a conversation with this with somebody about a whole other topic but Speaking nice to yourself helps manifest in the universe, like, to be nice to you and treat you nice as well. But when you speak low vibration to yourself and treat yourself fucked up, you're going to attract negative shit and the universe is going to be treating you fucked up because they don't think that's what the type of shit that you hate, okay? Deal with the situation because we're here to experience, okay? Being human is an experience. And, um... Take the lesson for what it is because everything happens in divine timing, okay? And sometimes it has to be so dramatic so that you it can get your attention. So always keep that in mind. What is the energy that my mama is in? I just seen the Ten of Swords. Lovers in reverse. Okay, so something about um, this pregnancy or loss of a child or something that caused something in your love life to end. They didn't want this as an option. Where your lovers are getting in reverse. They didn't want this love as an option anymore. Um, like I said, we need to be careful with manifesting it. Some of y'all was manifesting. Um, a baby for the wrong reasons. That's why this could have happened. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Knight of Wands and Page of Wands. This was nothing but <coughs> sexual energy. And somebody was trying to trap somebody with a baby. And it and it wasn't it wasn't for the right shit. It wasn't for the right reasons. It wasn't the right time. Right place. None of that. And that's why this love. I mean, yeah. Somebody felt like, oh, well, sis, she, like the baby ain't here. Like, they feel like they could just walk off. Who is this person in this sexual energy? Who is this person that's just in this sexual energy? Somebody who wants to stay free. Free or what? This is somebody who likes to like experience. This is two of wands. This is two of wands. My bad, y'all. Two of wands. Um, yeah, this is somebody who likes to experience. I'm hearing Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. And when he died, all oh, he left was a cold home. Okay. And that makes me go back to the song I heard earlier because I was wondering, like, why am I channeling this? It was a five heart. No, the Temptations. It was the, um, is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. Um, yeah. Is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? 
okay? And the girl was just like hyperventilating, fainted. Like this person has that. <laughs> Listen, they that they that nigga. Hey, I'm that nigga. That be, okay, they that they that motherfucker. Okay, they they got it like that. They looking for a a a a, a how <laughs> a heart in the house tonight, like. Because I keep getting Heartbreaker Kid, Heartbreaker Kid, Heartbreaker Kid. Because I even came out on another reading I just did. Heartbreaker Kid. Yeah, it was the last reading I just did. It was like 11 minute reading. Go check that out. Confirmation. Yeah, the last one I did. Oh, three of Swords in Reverse again. Like somebody, like, they care about you, but at the same time, they want to do them. They care about you, but at the same time, they want to do them. Or this could be one of them things like you told them that you was pregnant and they made you get an abortion or the stress of how this person started doing caused some type of like complication or something. Take it how it resonates. What exactly caused yeah, you definitely the Empress. Cause I was about to say what caused the end to this pregnancy and the Empress card came out. So the fact that you either got pregnant or the fact that this person already has a main woman. As I'm hearing DMX, come on, ma, you know I got a wife, and even though that thing good, I'm not about to jeopardize my life. So what the fuck you want from a nigga? What the fuck you really want from it? What these bitches want from it? Really want. The, 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 you got what the fuck you was looking for. Yeah, because this person is out the door. They like they on to the next thing. Is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. <laughs> and I'm hearing this see depressed. I'm about to stretch them. Pink rounds around his neck. <laughs> but this ain't domestic. Uh think it's going down. <laughs> he said, I ain't going. <laughs> No emotion. Back outside. Back your motion. He keep calling. I know him. He said, I'm too player. Hey, don't I know it? Hey, the depressed. Oh, I'm about to stress him. Uh, pink, brown eyes, pink nails around his neck. Hey, but this ain't domestic. What? <laughs> yeah, like that shit is crazy. What is, besides this pregnancy, why is this man running from this pregnancy? He don't want this household with you. Whoever this was, they did not want that household with you. That's why they're walking out. They don't want this love. And they're not going to sneak and do it. They're going to do it blankly in your fucking face. Like this person, I'm hearing like they don't hold back. They don't hold back. They don't hold their tongue. But they tell you some people don't believe it. They just have person like, okay, I'm going to believe it. I can tell you. But this could be a woman doing this. Like, I told you that I ain't this shit. Like, da da da. Like, take it how it resonates. Because men be trying to trap women too. Like, there's no gender in general. Okay. If you in this world, you should know how it works. But every now and then, I do. You know what I'm saying? Because these spirit baby reads get a little crazy. Yeah, somebody does not want to give to the situation. I'm hearing somebody wife or something could have found out. They could have been asking, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, they could feel that shit. Because, you know, when you're sexually active with somebody, like, you you can feel soul ties and shit. As long as that soul tie is still open, ain't no core could have been done to it, that, that person can feel it. Okay. What type of energy is this empress in? This empress high priestess? Or is these two different people? If this is the same person, give me one card. If this is two different people, give me two cards. Who is... Eight of Cups, Judgment. Yes, yeah, somebody found out about something. This is a wife that found out. The 
The wife could have walked out and it was judgment on this other woman who motherfucking had the baby or got pregnant. Or if this person got pregnant on purpose, this man walked out and it was judgment over all the decisions made. Six of Wands in reverse. That's crazy. I just heard that song earlier. Um, the NBA Young Boy. Trying to hide from the cameras. I ain't going outside today. Okay. He said he can buy a new bitch and all this crazy ass shit. Yeah. Somebody feel like they ain't got their strings. It, this pregnancy was strenuous. Sorry, I have never told you. And baby, I showed you I care. And I know you're smiling down on me from heaven. My dumb and me friends, we love the love the way. And I no one may will be together. Yeah, my voice going in and out. Once again, I wish you was far away. Yeah, four of pinnacles in reverse. Queen of Wands. Ooh, communication. Somebody could have did magic for this. Eight of Wands in reverse. Yep, six of cups. And then the page of pinnacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Somebody knew a motherfucker wasn't going to get to the situation from the get-go. And the little bit that they was given was bare minimum. Okay? And that's why this woman felt like she had to do some type of magic with this queen of wands. That's whatever this entrapment was with this child. To be like, oh, if I trap this man with this child, then that means he would have to do X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. Not realizing, not no man going like, no baby keeps nobody to do shit. At the end of the day, if my fuck want to do something, they're going to do it. It don't matter if it's a baby involved or not. Okay? And then, if they, like, depending on their character and their responsibility level and self-respect level and the respect they already have from you, from you junk, like, certain shit wouldn't even be a fucking conversation, okay? And then again, conversation. It wants to reverse, like, what's understood don't need to be fucking explained. So it's like, that's why this man, like, feel like he's going to just walk off because it's like, you already know what the fuck the deal was. And then again, is there a heart? Is there a heart tonight? Stand up. This man about to go give to another woman or go back to his wife and go give to his wife. Because when I see the six of pentacles, this is my bread coming card. But when I see this six of cups, this is the giving card. This is I want to pour off, like birth with you, give with you, start with you. I want to be fertile with you. They want to be fertile with this empress. They're walking back to this empress. They're walking back to this empress to give to this empress. Okay. Like I said, this motherfucker already knew a motherfucker wasn't about to get to them. This queen of wands feel like she ain't got no strength. As she already knows the communication and gossip around town is that she is under fucking judgment. And whatever, back fucking fired. And the motherfucker can't say shit because if they say something, they're going to have to tell on themselves that they motherfucking was fucking around in that magic shit. That's why they, <coughs> they were <coughs> into an end. Confirmation, my fucking throat chakra. Can't make it up. 
I fucking can't say shit. I fucking ain't got no more money to spend on no magic, no nothing. And motherfucker not giving to them. So whatever they was getting from them, they give it and they pouring it back into the, the other lady. The main lady. Mm-mm-mm. How... Like, what deck am I about to use? And will there be a, another spirit? Like, when will this rainbow baby be coming in? When will this rainbow baby be coming in? I just need an ace of cups. Four of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Hair of five. Yeah, this is under divine timing. Only God got to say so over that. King of Pentacles in reverse, two cups in reverse. You trying to spend money on love magic is not going to work to get this. It has to come in genuinely, and you have to do the work. Trying to trap somebody is not going to get it. It's going to either bring a karmic child. Whether that child is bad as hell, or that child has some type of issue, okay? That's not to be sensitive to anybody, but like, when you do shit for the wrong reasons, it shows. And for, I'm hearing some about incest, and for those of you that's doing this incest shit, that's another reason why this shit is not happening, because y'all know damn well y'all not supposed to be messing around with each other from the jump. Or you messing around with somebody like family member or something. It's something about a family member or incest. Or that's our small few of y'all. So it's like, again, y'all already knew some jump that this person wasn't about to leave a person. Or that y'all couldn't be out in the public with whatever the fuck this was. <clears throat> Damn, this reading turned me crazy. Yeah. Okay, can we think about this? Okay, we got 22, 38. Can you give us messages from this rainbow, baby spirit? Pertaining to this reading tonight. Please give us rainbow baby messages pertaining to this reading tonight. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> what does the spirit baby want to say? What does the spirit baby or remote want to say? Foggy. I can't see shit, but I know I'll get there. Yeah, it's only God's timing, okay? Your baby, like, they know that they they time is coming up to be here, but they, like, they confused because they don't understand whatever the fuck this bullshit is going down here on this realm, okay? So they like, what the fuck? It says, other parent is unwilling or unable, yeah. They couldn't come because the other parent was unwilling or unable, Born into poverty, check to check. Yeah, this baby didn't want to be born into poverty. I did a lot for this here lifestyle. Yeah. This baby didn't want to be born into poverty. What else does the spirit of baby want to say? What else does the spirit of baby or rainbow baby want to say? What else does the spirit of baby or rainbow baby want to say? Miscarriage. Oh, I never get over you until I find something new. Oh, I never get over you until I find something new. So again, somebody's having a hard time with this um loss of this child. Okay. 
And then for some reason, I'm here, ooh, and I like it. You send chills up my spine every time I take one look at you. Ooh, and I like it. I'm like somebody sitting there looking at um their baby pictures or baby videos and stuff like that because I was getting Jesse Power earlier too. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you say my name and stop. Okay, like somebody is like reminiscing over their child or something like that. Late bloomer. Also, yeah, so y'all could be a late bloomer, like um, y'all could go through a couple of miscarriages or something like that before y'all actually get an actual pregnancy because you're a late bloomer or your body's too little or like you need to be stretched out more, or let your body develop more because some people are late bloomers, okay? Take it how it resonates. What else does this really want to say? Or your, your child's going to be a late bloomer when they get here. Muggy, school over, is too damn hot. Okay, so your baby gonna be hot body. They're probably gonna be one of the babies always ripping off their clothes and they diaper and stuff running around. Okay, some of y'all could be in a two week waiting period again. All right, or you like gonna be getting hot flashes, whatever with this new person. You're gonna be telling them the school over is too hot, and you're gonna be finding out that you're gonna be in a two week wait for this child. Take it out and resonate as well. Formula, the child's gonna be on formula. You might not want to breastfeed. Spirit, what else does this spirit baby wanna say? What else does the spirit baby wanna say? To be continued, this waiting game is getting old. I need answers. Yeah, yo, baby, like, bitch, we gonna get it together. This waiting game getting old. Okay, or you telling spirit like, okay, I'm ready for my baby. I'm ready for to settle down. Like this wedding game getting old. Like when am I gonna get my baby? When am I gonna be done with this heartbreak? Okay. What else does the spirit baby want to say? What else does the spirit baby want to say? Okay. Oh, this is wrong. All right. It says I was an inventor in past life. Coming to help build. Don't be mad when I break things. Okay, so this baby's helping to help you build, help close off that gap or whatever it is that you are missing in your life. You might have asked God for something. Returning test in reverse. I thought that girl belongs to me, but she belongs to everybody. Not to be dramatic. Okay, like this person's going to know. Like they, they don't need to take no fraternity test with you. They're going to know that this is a child or that you only been sleeping with them or something like that. So you ain't got to worry about this person ever being like, oh, that ain't my baby. Okay. Or like what this person did when they found out she was pregnant, just try to play you to the left like you ain't nothing. Like, you always going to be there or be around. Or like, they trying to dish you in the key. Like, oh, well, I already got a life type shit. It says lots of morning sickness. Okay. So trips to the bathroom. So you might have to go pee a lot and you'll have like a lot of morning sickness. With this child, that's how you, another reason you're going to know that you're um, pregnant. It says, cloudy in reverse, look for the light. Okay, um, you're going to get a glow to your skin, is what your baby's saying. They say, start looking for that glow. All right. At home birth or in nature, going on natural. Okay, you're going to have an at home birth or be in nature. Your water birth. Okay. I'm going to do some research on that. I'm not about to go into all of that right now. Um, purposely done. Okay, so yes. Um, oh, and then it says incest culture. All right, so boom. When you meet your person, they're going to purposely get you pregnant. Or this could be this person who was purposely trying to get pregnant on purpose. Because right under this, it says incest. Okay, it says, I didn't know we were kin. I already know what's up. So, so somebody <coughs> <coughs> not new. So, for some of y'all, a small few of y'all, but a lot of y'all, y'all already knew that was y'all people. And y'all still did it anyway. When more people start to find out, the person could have like, oh, well, I'm about to dish you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how this shit go. Motherfuckers try to play dumb, like, try to play roles, like, they ain't no fucking going on. Or they don't want no parts in it. Like, you already got 
your hands dirty, okay? But yeah, somebody purposely is trying to trap somebody with child. Um, For this, for the father of this rainbow child coming in, how do they feel about this for them? How does this masculine that's coming in to get this woman pregnant feel, this feminine pregnant feel about her? How does this man feel about the woman he's coming to get pregnant? How does this man feel about the woman he's coming to get pregnant? Say, give me one card, please. Passion in reverse, and I seen codependency on top too. Let your friends help you. Passion. Passion in reverse. Okay. So it says passion in reverse. It says let your friends help you. Okay. So somebody doesn't have like. At first, somebody might not have, like, the real passion for this. Because, like, this could be, like, somebody scoping you out. But then, like, other people talking shit about you. And then they probably, like, mm. But then when they won't get to know you, they self, they're probably, they're going to fall in love with you. That's what, that's what the fuck I'm getting from this. Also, this could be um another man hating on you or something like that. Because I also got release your ex and unrequited love. So this could be this man still in love with his ex. Or this man scoping you out and see that you're still with your ex. And something about unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to help the relationship go. So, again, like, this is like a person, like, y'all not really. Like, one of y'all is paying attention to each other more than the other one, like, type shit. And then one of y'all still got, like, somebody laying around or both of y'all still got people laying around. So, they, like, it's not enough chemistry there. And maybe y'all got people in y'all ear on both ends or something like that. Because right on the bottom of that, it's retreat. So again, as I'm saying, once y'all like get all the gossip and stuff out the way and actually get to know each other, y'all going to separate from them other people. Okay? And it's going to be true love. And it closed me out. Period. Like I said. Oh, engagement at the bottom of the deck. Y'all gonna end up getting engaged. Like I said, at first it's gonna be some bullshit because motherfuckers all in y'all business. But once y'all get, get really get alone and get to know each other, that's how y'all gonna end up making this baby, falling in love, running off, and getting engaged. Period. So at the end of the day, like, don't take those L's. You know what I'm saying? So personal. God was just letting you know it is possible. It is capable of being done. Okay. And with the wrong person, like they showing you like how the beepers really get trapped. So just imagine how you feel, how you and a child will feel if y'all wasn't in that predicament. Okay. So just be careful about who you are sleeping with because Life is real. Life be life, you know, okay? Like, y'all really have to pay that in consideration. So, if this is somebody that you know is already involved with somebody, I wouldn't advise to do it. If it's somebody who you feel like you don't look at serious or you feel like they don't look at you serious, however, like, I don't think, you know what I'm saying? I should be doing that. And if you're trying to do shit for the wrong reasons, or you know that you are related to somebody, I don't think it is a good idea to do that. You feel me? Like, just don't do that. Ugh. Can I get one more message for Mama? How will she be feeling about this new upcoming pregnancy? How will Mama be feeling about this new upcoming pregnancy? Damn, it's a lot. You want to take a message? Mm -hmm. No, I can take all of them. Shit, fuck you. We at thirty-four forty-seven. It's like five cards, y'all. So don't be a mouthful. 
All right, it says, I am winning at mom life. Oh, so yes, this is your first time with us. Be full term with us because you have a wonderful child, okay? It says, don't let the worst to open the flame, okay? Oop, <laughs> special burping. Don't let self doubt steal your thunder. You are a superhero, mama. You can change your diaper. I don't know if I'm busting up the thing. Okay, it says, don't let self doubt steal your thunder. You are a superhero, mama. You can change a diaper in the dark, rock baby while you're washing dishes, pump breast milk while driving, and find your partner car keys with a single glance. If that doesn't earn you a super mama cape, I don't know what does. Yes, you'll encounter kryptonite from time to time. Hello, sleep, registration, regression. But you will prevail. Take pride in superpowers. You're a natural at mom life. All right. So, again, take this time to prepare yourself, nest yourself, talk nice to yourself. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, that's just confirmation. And like I said, they were just showing you that it was possible. So, at this time, you know what the right and wrong things are to do. You know what stresses and stuff to do. Okay, in the reverse, every birth is sacred. Okay, that's that water birth we're talking about. So, you might have your but you might be out in nature or something okay you can read all the books eat all the, eat the perfect diet and take the best birthing classes around and still not have the birth you desire if you feeling down about your childbirth get gentle with yourself feel your feelings but then let the shame and blame go birth is such <laughs> birth is so much bigger than us and it's ultimately beyond our control whether you have the birth of your dreams or one that fell short or something in between know that every experience holds gifts so that was just confirmation right there because that's what the whole thing this reading was about okay all of them situations child okay got three more and we're gonna be done i've seen 3707 all right <coughs> fine i find the humor in it all some days you have to laugh at mom life your epic diaper blowout in the car seat projectile vomiting on baby's cute new outfit leaky boobs when you're out in public you can't make these what commodities up when the hits keep coming take a step back and laugh laughter boosts our Ooh, boosts our mood, immune system, and even burns calories. It diffuses the most stressful circumstances and reminds us that we can't control it all. And isn't that uh, it isn't that a glorious relief? God grant us the certainty of things that we cannot change, the courage to change things that we can't, and the wisdom to know the difference. Talk nice to yourself, you guys. Speak affirmations to yourself, you guys. Do your water magic, you guys. Do your air magic, you guys. Do your earth magic and ground yourself, you guys. Do your fire magic, okay? And smudge your house. Smudge your body. Smudge your womb. Steam that womb. All right? All right, okay? The last two cards. I focus on what's most important, and I am perfectly equipped to handle today. Embrace the chaos, mama. Newborn life is topsy-turvy ride. You've got rhythm down. Everything changes again. Resist the urge to control it. Focus on love between you and your baby and let the rest go. One day your house will be neat and your to-do list will be on point, but now is not the time. Relish in what's relish in the disorderly postpartum life. Fill it with oxytonin boosts and kisses and cuddles. Try not to rush or wish it away. It's too precious to miss. Okay, so the good, the bad, the ugly. This is what you ask for, so you can't skip over certain parts. That's what comes with what the fuck you ask for. All right? All right. You are a force of nature. You brought your baby into this world and you nourish baby to this day. Sure, the house is a mess and baby's fussy, but you've got this. When your world feels out of control, know that this is normal for newborn life. The best thing you can do is step back, relax, 
and go with the flow. You can handle today no matter what comes your way. All right. Some of y'all might be getting a door up too because it's a door up in the back. Not the front of this. Some of y'all might be getting a door up. All right. The baby. That was your rainbow baby reading. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay. Your baby's gonna like some quiet and cuddly toys. And it says, I've been here before and I will help you grow in life if you allow me. So yeah, this is definitely a rainbow baby. And like I said, your baby gonna be pulling off his diaper and stuff. It says potty training a breeze. Your baby gonna be ready to pull that diaper off, pull clothes off. Your baby might be a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So we um count eight or nine months back from some of those signs to get your um predictions on some of the times where I might be getting uh, that positive. All right. And you already know what it is. It's the Mellow Nation, Mellow Game, Mellow Pop, Mellow Take It Over, period. Again, again, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. So if you are new here, go ahead and smash those buttons. You need to be smashing because of what are you doing? What are you doing? All right. <laughs> so you already know. Glasses, muchas, my kings, my queens, my loves, my babies. And I see you in the next one. Ciao. <laughs>